Hey everyone, welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. In this one, I'll be talking about some pretty effective ways to get armor from the traders for a big discount by using barter trades instead of straight up cash to get a hold of your body armor. I've been getting a lot of questions on stream lately about what armor to use, what's the best, what's the best to use on a budget, whether certain armors are worth the trade, and so on. On that note, I figured it was a good time to specifically cover some of the barter trades that I use pretty frequently to get decent armor for my runs. I'll be working on updating my full guide to body armor and helmets in the near future, but for now, I'll be focusing specifically on barter trades available at different levels. So with that intro out of the way, let's start with the very first trades you're able to make at level 1 Ragman, which are pretty limited, but still somewhat useful. First up, starting from level 1, there's two barter trades available at Ragman that can be useful when you are just starting out, and even into the mid-game. To start this off, we've got to talk about the barter trade for a Paca Vest, in exchange for three Scav Masks. The Paca isn't exactly an amazing armor by itself, but when you're low level, it might be all you have access to, and this is a very easy and cheap way to get a hold of the armor. These masks are super common to find, and insanely cheap once you have the flea market, so at the very least, you can get the most basic protection without spending much money. The other trade at level 1 Ragman that's quite good is the 6B47 helmet in exchange for two bottles of Ox Bleach, which are pretty common to find, can be crafted in the hideout, and once you hit level 10 can be purchased for about 9,000 rubles on the flea market. This helmet is pretty good throughout the game, thanks to its high ricochet chance and ear coverage, so all around it's pretty useful, especially when you can make the trade for only around 20,000 rubles. That's about it for Ragman level 1. He doesn't have much, but the 6B47 helmet barter in particular is pretty useful throughout the game. Plus, most of these items are needed for a punisher quest, so these are cheap ways to get a hold of them. Next we move on to level 2 Ragman, who has a few barter trades worth considering that can be pretty useful for the mid game. First we have another 6B47 helmet barter, this time for 7 dog tags of at least level 10. This trade is unlocked after completing Therapist Pharmacist quest, and is a pretty useful way to get the helmet on the cheap. This one also has the camo cover on it, which can make you harder to spot when you're hiding in the trees. Next, you can grab a Karasa body armor from Ragman level 2 in exchange for 1 coffee, 1 milk, and 1 Tarkola. The Karasa is only class 3, but it's got decent durability and low movement penalties compared to other class 3 armor you can get at this level. The barter items are pretty common to find, especially on reserve, and if purchased on the market, they only total about 40,000 rubles. If you've watched my early game gear guide, you'll know I recommend buying the 6B3TM armored rig once you hit Ragman level 2, but this trade can be a good alternative if Ragman is out of stock, or if you bought the max amount of that rig during a trader reset. Next up, we have the Tactec plate carrier, which has a barter trade at level 2, 3, and 4 Ragman. For this one at level 2, you need to trade 4 golden TT pistols and 6 chainlets for the Tactec. This armored rig is my favorite armor in the game, with high durability, great repair, great mobility stats, and a large size which makes it hard to loot, and because of this, lets you get it back in insurance quite often. This barter trade doesn't really save you much money on the Tactec, but it lets you get one at full condition for the same price people are asking for a destroyed version on the flea market at around 180 to 200,000 rubles. Finally, we have two more barter trades at level 2 Ragman that are useful, but only because you need the UN armor for several quests throughout the game. You can get the UN armor for 3 energy drinks, and the UN helmet for 2 anti-fragmentation goggles. I don't really recommend the UN gear for normal runs, but this is a cheap way to get the vest and helmet when you need them for the quest, much cheaper than buying them straight up from Peacekeeper. Once we move into level 3 Ragman, things really open up and there's a ton of useful barter trades for armor, especially armored rigs with lots of storage space. First up at this level, we have one of the best barter trade rigs in the game in my opinion, and that's the ANA Tactical M1 rig in exchange for 4 Aquamarie water bottles. This water is very useful on its own to refill hydration, it's pretty cheap on the market at 15,000 per bottle, and it can be crafted in the hideout using 1 purified water to make 8 Aquamarie bottles. This means you can get the M1 rig for 60,000 rubles, or as low as 40,000 if you craft the water bottles. The rig is class 4 armor, has high durability and good repair, and it also has amazing storage space for looting runs. I use this trade all the time for budget runs and it's definitely worth looking into. Next up we have a fan favorite barter trade, at least among my viewers in the discord server. The TV110 armored rig in exchange for 4 bottles of bleach and 2 bottles of shampoo. 
Both of these items can be crafted at the lavatory and the hideout. Both are fairly common to find in raid, and they're also both pretty cheap on the market. If you bought all the items on the market, you're looking at maybe 70,000 rubles, which is about 30k less than it costs to buy the rig straight up. All around, I think the TV-110 is a great armor choice, especially for looting runs because of its large space. If you use this barter trade, you can get it pretty cheap, especially if you can craft the items needed or find them in raid. Another barter trade that I think goes under the radar at Ragman level 3 is the Gazelle armor in exchange for 3 coffee and 2 gold chains. The Gazelle is a solid budget class 5 armor, and if you hit the market at the right time, this trade can be as low as 80,000 rubles if you buy the items, since coffee is sometimes only 10k on the market. Finally, we have another Tac Tech barter in exchange for 6 neoprene masks and 4 GP5 gas masks. This one is kind of a tricky barter since both items are somewhat rare, and the gas mask takes up a lot of space to store. However, However, sometimes they're really cheap on the market, and this trade can be a great deal for the Tactech, so I thought it was worth mentioning. Peacekeeper level 3 also has a pretty solid barter trade for the Team Wendy Exfil helmet in exchange for 10 level 30 plus bear dog tags. The Exfil is an amazing helmet with great stats all around and lots of attachments. It can be quite expensive though, and this is a pretty decent way to turn your PvP dog tag rewards into a nice helmet for future runs. Next up we have the Ragman level 4 barter trades, starting with a third barter for the Tactec armored rig in exchange for 1 antique vase and 10 chainlets. Again, this trade doesn't always save you money on the Tactec, but it's a good way to get a hold of one in perfect condition and save the repair costs. Chainlets are also pretty common to find, so I usually farm up 10 chainlets, then spend 50k on the vase to get a tac tech. Another great class 5 armored rig trade is the CPC plate carrier in exchange for 3 Cordura, 3 Ripstop, and 3 Aramid fabrics. You can craft Ripstop at the lavatory, and both Aramid and Cordura are pretty common drops on interchange and in supply crates on reserve. It can be expensive to buy this trade out, but I find it pretty easy to farm up enough Cordura to make the trade, and it's a really great armor. Next up, you can get both pieces of the Alton helmet through barter trades at Ragman level 4, often for cheaper than you would find them on the market. The face shield trades for 6 dog tags or 4 pieces of plex, both working out to about 60,000 rubles, and the helmet trades for 6 red pliers, 5 yellow pliers, and 5 measuring tapes. All of these items are pretty common in the loot tables, and you can put together an Alton helmet barter by just looking in some toolboxes, so it's pretty useful if you like the Alton as much as I do. Finally, we have two expensive barter trades for really powerful armor, starting with the Zhuk 6A in exchange for 3 antique vases and 3 teapots. This works out to around 200 to 240,000 rubles, but it lets you get one of the few class 6 vests in the game at full condition. Next, we have the Slick Plate Carrier in exchange for 3 trooper armors and 6 Cordura fabric. This is a ridiculously expensive trade, coming out to over 400,000 rubles, but that being said, the armor itself sells for around 500k on the market because it's widely seen as the best armor in the game. Personally, I only use this trade after I've looted some trooper armor from raiders or players, transforming them into a slick armor. However, if you really need to be the king of the meta, this trade is one of the ways that you can grab a full durability slick. Finally, there's one last barter trade at Peacekeeper level 4, getting you the airframe chops in exchange for 1 GPX, which is only about 20,000 rubles on the market. This attachment goes onto the airframe helmet and protects your face without obscuring your vision, which is very useful and you'll see this item used a lot by high level players. It's a shame that you can't barter for the helmet as well, but this one for the chops is still pretty useful. Well that about covers it for the barter trades that I recommend you use to pick up armor. I went over all the traders and I tried to only pick trades with the best value or trades that get you access to otherwise hard to find high level items. Hopefully you'll find this info useful and have some good luck with the armor I recommend if you decide to try some of these trades out for yourself. I'll be streaming more Escape from Tarkov on Twitch and I've got links to my Twitch channel, Discord server, and Patreon page down in the description for anyone interested. Thanks for checking out the video, feel free to leave any comments down below, and until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.